This week leading up to Earth Day, we are showing you the dedication, creativity, and heart of people trying to protect life on Earth. One million species are threatened with extinction, according to the United Nations, and one of the reasons is climate change. National climate correspondent David Schechter meets a scientist who's been following a unique lizard getting forced out of its home. This guy. They're actually, uh, I love them. At just a few inches long. They look like they're smiling all the time. Is called a Yarrow's spiny lizard. Despite his tiny size, he has a huge story to tell about climate change and the very future of our planet. Everyone's got water. Is it bad that I'm already out of breath? We'll take it easy. I'm tagging along on a two hour hike with Dr. John Weens from the University of Arizona to count lizards and document how hotter temperatures are stressing them out. This is some serious stuff. Look, it's about to flatten out. He says it's about to flatten out, but he's been saying that for an hour. Yarrow's lizards love the cooler mountain habitats across southern Arizona that are well above the hot desert floor. Because they can't take the heat down there, individual populations have been isolated from each other for millions of years in different mountain ranges. Just outside the town of Bisbee, a subpopulation of lizards has lived in the Mule Mountains for three million years. The one here around Bisbee is older than human beings. We anticipate that they're um, going to be entirely extinct here in the Mules by uh, next year, by 2025. They may be extinct already. Why does he think so? Well, in 2014, Weens and his colleagues could only find lizards in the Mule Mountains above 5,700 feet of elevation. Eight years later, he went back and the only lizards that hadn't died out were now above 7,100 feet. That left only a few hundred feet of mountaintop cool enough for them to survive. So they're almost out of room. A landmark report from the United Nations determined that one million species are threatened with extinction. Based on Dr. Weens's research, he believes that number is actually far higher, driven by the heat trapping gases that come from our cars, our factories, and our power plants. It's, it's catastrophic. Um, as human beings kind of in the, in the developed world, we all sort of have some responsibility for this. What do you do to look? We're gonna look on uh, top of rocks here. Um, a little sun is really helpful, but so they'll, they'll be out basking. They're very easy to find when they're, when it's a sunny day. Does not seem to be anyone here. We need to confirm you come back here at least a couple more times, but it seems like this, this distinct lineage that's been separated for about three million years is looks like it's gone now. It's gone. Yeah. Is that is that disappointing to you? Well, yeah, of course. It's... Ultimately, what's the story? This is what the future is going to look like. This is this is climate related extinction. Yarrow's spiny lizard populations survive in other parts of Arizona, though many are struggling too. Ween says the death of this local population around Bisbee shows us how climate change is quickening the pace of extinction. It's not only happening over centuries or decades, it's happening now. Mm. And David Schechter joins us now live. David, uh, what great reporting. And clearly that scientist has dedicated so much of his life and energy and work to track that lizard. And you really witnessed a profound moment with him. It was a profound moment. Uh, you know, we thought we'd, we, it was a good chance we would see one. The weather was great, the sun was out, the conditions were really perfect. And then to get up there and have that moment where you couldn't find them, I, I, I almost was at a loss for words. It was this sense of finality that I'd never experienced before, that something that had been around for three million years is, is gone. It's like you don't really have words for that. Mm. Yeah, amazing. I was just talking to Rutabay saying how they're prehistoric looking and, you know, such beautiful creatures. But, you know, you mentioned it's situations like this we're going to see more and more about. I mean, this isn't the last situation of an animal becoming extinct in, in, in our world. Certainly not. You know, if we continue to emit greenhouse gases the way we are as a planet and as a country, uh, that's the source of climate change, and we can see more stress on more species. You know, there are 
50, I believe, yes, 50 animal species that are threatened or endangered in California. That includes the California condor. It also includes the San Joaquin kit fox. There are 100 in all of California, so that was just southern, 100 in all of California, 1,700 threatened or endangered species in the country. When you get on that list, when a species gets on that list, it does unlock resources to help restore that, and it, does, and it can work and can be effective, but it's not perfect. It's supposed to take two years to get listed if you're a species. Uh, right now it takes 10 or 12 years because of all the bureaucracy, and that certainly would not have been enough time for that lizard. Wow. It's just so heartbreaking. It's really sad to see, and, and we can all do something about it, it ourselves with our own actions. Yeah, the fact that, you know, it, it takes so long, like you mentioned, some of these animals, some of these species don't have that time before it's too late. So I'm glad we're doing these stories to kind of showcase a little bit about what's going on in our world. Okay, David, thank you for joining us. And we will be streaming David's full 30-minute special called Protecting Life on Earth this Saturday at 5 p.m. and Sunday at 8 a.m. on CBS Los Angeles.